Welcome back YouTube, my name is Josh and in this one we'll be going over abstraction, which is another principle of OOP or object oriented programming. Now this is gonna be related to Swift language, but you can also apply this to any other language that is an OOP language. So let's go ahead and begin. So first off, let's talk about what exactly is abstraction. abstraction excuse me. So the definition here is a concept by which we expose relevant data and methods of an object hiding its internal implementation. Now we'll break that down so it makes sense and I'll show you pictures and I'll show you a playground and really get the ball going so you understand. But mainly what that's saying is, hey, we're gonna take a class um, and all the methods and things inside of it, we're gonna be able to expose and use what's relevant for us, but then we're gonna hide all the logic and everything behind the scenes that we really don't need or care to know about. Uh, and I'll show you that again in the playground, but let's go ahead and show what that looks like in a real life event. So let's say we go to the movies here. We are going to go ahead and buy some tickets. Then we're gonna move over here to the concession stand and we're gonna get that big old refillable popcorn that everyone gets and normally doesn't go back for another refill, uh, along with your soda or your drinks of your choice. Okay, but it doesn't stop there. Then you go ahead and go to the movie itself and you start watching the movie. So that is what we need. So the relevant information that we're exposing are the tickets, the popcorn, the soda, and the movie. However, we don't really think about what's in the background. You know, how did the tickets get there? How did the, they get the product, like the sodas and the movies and the um, popcorn? Like how did that, how was that purchased? None of that comes to play because we don't care. We don't care about that. We, that's not important. All that's important is that the product is there for us when we need it. We give them the money, we get the product. So that is the main concept. So now let's pause this real quick, jump over to a playground and see this really working um, in a real class. Let's, okay, so now we have our playground here and you see abstraction with the simple definition right there. Um, and we have a class. Now in one of my previous videos, I showed this exact class, which is calculation. Now I'm gonna describe the same exact class and how we are using abstraction in this class. So all we have here are three variables. Two of them are let's, one of them is a private var. Uh, one's a number one and number two, and then the other one is total. Okay, initialize that, and now we have two very easy methods. One is multiply, and all that is doing is it's taking this total, which is a private here, and we're setting that to equal whatever we pass in for number one times number two, and that's called multiply. So we're multiplying those two numbers. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Then we have another method that is showing the total. And all we're doing here is we're saying, since this is an optional, we're saying, hey, let show total equal total. So we're unwrapping this with our guard statement here. And if that's good, do this. If not, we're just gonna return out of here and not show the total. But if it is good, print, total with a dash and then whatever so, uh, show total is, which is going to be this total that we set. Okay, so now that is all fine and dandy. We see the logic going on here and then we also see this logic going on here. Now, just like at the movie theater, we don't care about this. So if I was gonna um, initialize a new, uh, a new object, so we're gonna do let figuring, oops, typing on the wrong thing here. We're gonna be let figuring, like you're figuring out or adding, it's just another uh, mathematic term. So figuring, calculation, and we're gonna pass in a first number, which will keep it really easy, 10, and then second number is 10. So 10 and then 10, and now let's go ahead and use that multiply function. So we're gonna do that same thing, so figuring, dot multiply. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna take 10 times, which is the first number, times the second number, 10. That should give us 100, okay? Then it's going to take that and set that to total. So right now, total is 100. Right here, we're gonna do show total, so let's go ahead and do that. So figuring dot, let's do this method here, which is show total and it's gonna safely unwrap the show total, and if it's there, it's going to print out total, and then whatever the show total is. 
which is equal to total, which we said total here is going to be this times this. So it should be 100. Let's go ahead and see if that's correct. And there it is. So what is encapsulation? Wow, I am sorry, I'm on the last video. What is abstraction in this video? Abstraction is just being able to see figuring and then multiply and show total methods. We don't care to see or know what exactly is going on inside these methods. All we want is access to it. So just like the popcorn, this is the popcorn here. Okay, or this is the soda, or this is the movie, or the tickets, but it's not how they got there. We don't care. All we wanted to do is the work. So it's going to automatically multiply these two numbers. We don't care how it's doing it in the background. We are literally abstracting what we need uh, to work out of this class, and all we need is the actual uh, method itself. So it'll do that in the background, and then showing the total, we want it to print it out, but we don't care what it takes to print this out. We don't care how long or short the code in is or anything like that. That'll all happen on the back end. And that is what abstraction is and how powerful that is too. Because think about that. If we're, if we're not able just to pull out what we need, we'd have to write this stuff out every single time and it'd be super long code and it, would just, it wouldn't make sense. We're so used to doing this and most of the time we're doing it without knowing. Uh, that it wouldn't make sense and it would be long and drawn out process if this um, abstraction wasn't here for us. So that is abstraction and that's all I have for you for this one. If this was a good learning uh, lesson for you and you like the way I went about it, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment there. Uh, if you want to see my upcoming uh, videos, please hit that bell. And if you have not yet, please, please subscribe to the channel. That helps me give my content out to others who may need it. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you on the next one.